and here we are. Now, I must admit something. Uh, I thought we were Saturday, and on Saturday, I'm used to go live at 6 p.m. my time, CET time. And you see, it's a holiday here in, in Spain today. It's a national holiday. And I was so convinced it was Saturday. I said, oh, I have to go live at 6. And just now I realized, after a little, ready somebody know that I was going to go live at 6, I said, oh, but we're Friday. Anyways, nevertheless, I am here, and I will just do it uh, now at this time. I am just going to check if everything is going fine. Yeah. And the question I'm going to answer, or it's questions that I'm going to answer today are from uh, Oriel. And she says, hi, Eva, my torches have already arrived. And so this is the lady whose questions I answered last weekend. And she bought the new torches and, and they were sent this week, of course, and she already has them. She says, uh, my torches have arrived and I am already using them. Thank you. Could you explain the modes, please, and appropriate use for them? My 15-year-old torch didn't have them. I have started torching our lovely dog doing the basic balancing system. He has a very vigorous pseudomonas infection in his ears. He is under an integrated fat and having twice daily antibiotic drops specifically cultured to attack that infection, but it is not working. Could you tell me some specific points to help boost his immune system and help the discomfort, please? Thanks again, Oriol. Okay, so this is for Oriol, but this is for anybody buying a red light. First of all, as I have recommended you, and as it says in the manual, first of all, in the manual, it already says the modes and uh, how to use them. But I've also put in my manual a link to my YouTube page and to my FAQ page on the website. On there, I explain to you exactly the different modes and in the videos on the YouTube channel, I also explain you what you're using the modes for. And on Facebook, I also have videos and I think I have already said it about 10 or 15 times what we're using it for. So just have a look. Okay, just have a look, spend some time to learn about it. You can ask me questions. I have no problem with that. I will repeat it again but you would be able to find those solutions already in the material that has been written down in the FAQ or of which I've made videos here on Facebook or on YouTube, okay? So once again, the modes. So, um, Oriol, I don't remember now if you only have the Pro Torch or if you also went uh, for the Pro and Pocket. Anyways, I'm gonna talk to you about the Pro Torch because this one has the most uh, modes. So mode one, 200 milliwatts, it's just a smaller light. This is what we use to stimulate acupuncture points on the body. Of the dog, of the cat, of the horse, of the human, it doesn't matter, it's all the same, okay? And then the second, the second mode, it's stronger, I'll put it, I'll put it, yeah, no, there, I have too much light in the house now. So the, the second mode is a lot stronger, okay? And this is the mode that we will torch, that we will use to torch locally where it hurts. So in the case of your dog, you could put the torch just under his ear for let's say 20 seconds and also lift his ear up because I have a picture of your dog here. Lift the ear up and put the torch like this in his ear. If you will let it, if you won't let it, put it as close as possible, okay? And within a few minutes, the pain will start to be alleviated. So your dog will already feel better just because we are alleviating his pain, okay? And then the third mode, okay? Just one, one click again here on the back. The third mode is the pulse mode at 200 milliwatts. Pulse mode we use to, uh, on the one hand, if, the, if you or your animal, your pet has a nasty wound and you need extra stimulation for, the, uh, for a stronger healing effect, you would use the, the pulse mode. And on the other hand, you also use pulse uh, to stimulate brain function, okay? Which is very important for people who have Alzheimer in the family or memory problems. I, for example, I've had memory problems since my motorcycle accident because I had a head trauma, okay? So then I would use uh, the pulse mode to stimulate my brain function. 
Now, in my case, it's been a long time ago that it happened, but that's what you're going to use it for. On the other hand, you would also use it to stimulate the melatonin in the body. And as you know, it, it, it comes to the same melatonin in the body. It's not only to sleep well, eh? it has a function, but it also has a brain function for the, for, to have the brain function better. Okay, so make sure you, you use it appropriately. You can't do anything wrong with it. Don't understand me wrong. You can't do anything wrong with it. But it's just the fact that the different modes can all do the same. Okay, but then it depends on the time that you're going to put it on the point. Uh, then it depends on the time you are going to torch uh, locally then it's going to bend on the time that it's going to take longer or shorter, depending on the mode you're using. So if you just follow what we have worked out, and in the first place, Dr. Brian McLaren, like for example, we have a, a, a slower mode uh, or a, a softer mode for the acupuncture points because acupuncture points don't want to be hammered on with a hammer. They don't want to be smacked on. They want to be whispered to. So that's why you would use mode one on the acupuncture points. Mode two, which is stronger for a therapeutic effect to alleviate the pain more quickly. And mode three for a stronger healing effect, although it has a pain relief effect too, but it's stronger in the healing uh, modus and for to stimulate the melatonin in the body. And for example, for the stimulate melatonin in the body, this is all based on scientific uh, tests this is not something we have invented or that in this case I have invented because I was the first one to bring this out in torches that anybody can use. Okay, so this is based on scientific uh, tests that have been done in America, by the way. Okay, so that's uh, the answer for your quest first question. And when you say my 15 year old torch didn't have them, yes, indeed. Your torch didn't have them because 15 years or 20 years ago, when Dr. Brian McLaren brought your torch out, there wasn't the possibility to make this. So I am already working on something new that will come out probably in two years, okay? Because it takes time to develop it. It takes time to make it. These will always exist because this works perfectly fine, okay? So no problem with that, but I keep on, on working also to invent things, to try things out. And, 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 and I'm waiting now to get back one of my projects, which I will then test out for at least a year on um, at least a hundred animals and so on and so on and so on, uh, and humans, of course. Um, and it's only after that, that uh, it will come, it will be on the market. You'll have to wait, I'm sorry. Good, but remember, with this, you can do whatever you need to do. Okay, good. Next question was, uh, I have started touching my love, our lovely dog doing the basic balance, balancing system. I don't know what you mean with that. If you're meaning the standard points, that's great. That's what you need to do. If it's not the standard points that you're doing, then I must insist that you do the standard points that Dr. Brian McLaren has worked out. Uh, in this case, on your dog, you need to repeat those points every two days. So what I would do in your place with a dog with disinfection, I would do standard points every two days for the next six weeks. Okay, uh, otitis, otitis externa, or like you call it, the pseudodomas infection in the ear. It's really something that you don't like, that's really nasty, that can give a lot of pain, that's very difficult to eradicate. First place, mode one, stimulate uh, acup the acupuncture points from the standard points every two days for at least four to six weeks. Take the points for ear infection. Again, those are the specific points. Do them every two days for at least the next six weeks. But then in mode two, you torch every eight hours or even in the beginning, if you need to, every six hours. If your dog is in pain, you torch every six hours where he is in pain, okay? You put the torch there in mode two, okay? And then you can also lift the ear up and just inside point, put the torch in mode three. Every, um, mm, you can do that every two days, but every, if you do it every day, there's nothing gonna go wrong. Uh, that's fine too, okay? 
so uh, you're asking for specific points to help boost his immune system no those points are already in the standard points okay and the specific points he needs for his ear are in the booklet for ear infections okay and then the discomfort that he's having you can deal with that using mode two by torching locally remember torching locally in mode two to alleviate pain it's like taking a painkiller so you will repeat that uh, in the beginning in the in the first two days you can repeat that three four times a day uh, and and you will see the pain will be going lower and lower because you are already also doing standard points and specific points for ear infections okay well that's uh, that's it for today i am just going to have a little look to see if uh, hold on i'm gonna renew the page just to see if uh, everything has been going right hold on let's have a look here oh i see already that uh, i've received another private message let me see if that's important for this session Hold on, be patient. Um, let me open that inbox. Uh, no, it has nothing to do with this one. So it will be for tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Have a great night and have a great weekend. Bye for now.